Italian boxer Angela Carini decided to retire 45 seconds into her fight with Iman Khalif. Everyone is talking about it and it is indeed a very sensitive issue. It is delicate and complex because it includes political, social, cultural, psychological, and biological issues. But biologically, it is not that complex and, in this video, we want to give the scientific information to explain well the difference between trans woman and intersex person without going into the criteria of the Olympic Committee. And we are not going to go into it because, doing science communication, we cannot claim to explain this situation in all aspects. So we want to deal with this issue from a technical point of view, about which unfortunately there is still a lot of confusion, and provide clarity on the definition of trans and intersex women. So let's start by saying that biologically speaking, Iman Khalif is not a man, so she was not born male, but she was born female. She is also not a trans woman. Why? Because a trans woman by definition is a person who is born biologically male, but identifies as a woman, and so does not identify with their biological sex. This is not the case with Iman Khalif. She is born female, not male, and therefore she is not a trans woman. Now, there may be cases when a person has abnormal production of hormones. For example, if a woman has abnormal production of male hormones, such as testosterone, she may have hyperandrogenism. And this condition is a natural thing. It can happen. Some women may have this abnormal production. It is rare, but it exists. Let me tell you about my personal experience. I met a girl who had particularly high dehydrotestosterone levels. But this does not mean that she was a trans man or a trans woman. She is a woman with abnormal levels of male hormones. And this can happen with males as well. It can happen that some males have low production of male hormones. There, we understood what hyperandrogenism is and the definition of a trans woman. Now, online we also hear this other term. Intersex. We do not know whether Iman Khalif is intersex or not. That's because, as we'll later see, it's a genetic issue and it's private information coming from medical analysis. And since she hasn't made any statements about it, we can't know. In any case, the International Olympic Committee declares that Iman Khalif complies with the eligibility and registration regulations as well as all applicable medical regulations in accordance with the rules of the Paris Boxing Unit. Beyond all this, what does intersex mean? What is its definition? So, an intersex person is an individual, male or female, who has a variation in sexual characteristics present from birth, so he or she is already born with variations. For example, it may have a variation in sex chromosomes, a variation in genitalia, a variation in the reproductive system, or a variation in hormones. All of these variations can come from genetic factors. Now, we have said that this is a condition that is present from birth, but it is not necessarily visible right away. For example, there are some cases in which intersex traits become evident during puberty and in other cases, the traits are not visible. Now, one last thing to the eyes on that is very important. As also reported by the National Institute of Health, intersexuality is not a disease or disorder. We are only talking about a variation of sex characteristics, and it is a spontaneous, natural, biological thing. The correct name is really variations in sex characteristics, or VSCs. Nor is it correct to call intersex people by the term hermaphrodite. Today this term, the term hermaphrodite, is considered inappropriate, stigmatizing, and scientifically inaccurate. The correct term, we repeat, is variations of non-hermaphroditic sex characteristics. Alright guys, I hope the definition of trans woman and intersex person is clearer now. Please, let's try to maintain a polite and open tone in the comments so we can engage in discussion without insults or offenses. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you again here on Geopop Everyday Science. See you next time.